Philip flipping Plin because I don't get this stuff. I really don't. I don't understand how he constantly gets coverage on Vogue Runway. I wonder if it's all paid in terms of reviews because none of this stuff really, I would say, would connect with or relate to people that read Vogue or are into fashion in any kind of way, shape or form. I don't think many of them are going to Vogue Runway to check out what Philip Plin is doing. So I'm interested to know how he consistently has his stuff up on Vogue Runway. And it's also funny for me because I feel, to, I feel like, you know, put... Yeezy or put Kanye's or Ye's politics to one side if people had such a hard time accepting Yeezy as fashion because it was all streetwear and hoodies and whatnot or even what Demna was doing at Balenciaga earlier on or maybe Betamart earlier on I don't see how you can you know scrutinize one person for doing that but then have nothing to say about Philip Plim essentially putting out all this dumpster fire worthy level of content and clothing out there that doesn't necessarily speak to anyone that reads this website because to me this is just as bad as like a mike and miri type brand but i guess mike and miri what he's got going for him is that actual cool people like rappers and musicians and you know other people in culture like to wear his brand for some reason maybe because it's like an american you know he um hades or something i'm not really too sure but regardless um it's just as bad as this like just as bad Everything from the baseball jackets to the parkers to the jumpers. To what is this? Like embroidery, bandanery type printing that he has going on here. It just legitimately looks like the stuff that you would imagine the son or the daughter of a billionaire would be wearing day to day, thinking they're doing something. But this stuff is absolutely garbage. Legitimately garbage. It's horrendous. Absolutely nothing nothing good in it whatsoever. This could all be lit on fire tomorrow and no one would be none the wiser. It doesn't help that one of the models here looks like DDG. So you've got that lack of cool. You've got some Diet Kendall here wearing the stuff. And you've got some kid who looks like the villain in every sort of high school Netflix romance thing going on as well. But all of it looks terrible. Look at that bag. Look at that bag, man. It looks like it's like a bandana print. Again, he's doing bandana prints in 2023 or 2022 to 2023 going forward, right? And it's got, it's like a bandana print orange type thing going on so maybe it's like you know maybe they're hoovers i'm not really too sure and then you've got plin written there on the side in black in this kind of quasi gothic um tattoo type font the boots here look pretty decent these green boots look not too bad they're these kind of green cowboy boots that go up towards your knee with a sort of really thick wedge type sole even at cardigan i'm not too you know what this whole look i'm not too mad at to be honest but the rest of it is garbage. Like look at that. Look at those same boots in that look, with the jacket and the leggings. Absolutely shocking. But here, I think it looks pretty decent. But look at that. This fucking DD. Just as like DDG look, like absolutely rancid. Really rancid. I'm not too sure how he gets on Vogue Runway all the time, but somehow he managed to do so. Let's see what the look at the review. Three paragraphs of fucking Philip Plin. Big up Luke Leach for doing God's work. What did you got to say about his collection? Speeding legally up the Autostrada from Milan to Lugano in a Mercedes G stuffed with uh, Paniton, what? Panitoni and samples, Philip Plin checked in hands-free to update on Pre-4. Almost immediately we delivered. Ground covered included... What? Almost immediately we, di we diverted. Ground covered included family life, new store openings in Qatar. Of course he's opening a store in Qatar, of course. A new store in Frankfurt Airport, of course brazil last week and 10 further locations these for plin sport in the months ahead so he must be raking in mid who's i'd love to see the actual consumer who buys philip plin like un unironically i'd love to see them i'd love to um i wonder if it's like kind of like those type those kind of rich types in like munich and dortmund um i'm sure there's a few in zurich that probably wear them maybe some places in france not really too sure Maybe Marseille, who knows? Overall, Flynn said the company is seeing its greatest growth in wholesale, while online it's keeping level with 2021's pandemic prompted gains. Um, next year, we'll also see major pushes in South America and new opening in New York on Spring Street. The Plin show previously planned for New York in February will instead happen in September. Huh. We get to we get to pre four. So evidently, this is um was a Paisley heavy year. That's a print Paisley in 2023. People, imagine. Um, following the summer of um, heavy uh, petal Hawaii inspired florals. So you got Hawaii shirts last season and then you've got fucking Paisley this season. 
you you know he gives it he gives it to you all man he really kind of you know spoils his customers it's a common trend you see in fashion brands all the time like dior and of course etero always married to it obviously you cannot reinvent it but we did it in our own way yeah you definitely did it in your own way in a fucking garbage way look at this fucking shit man holy shit um da 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 uh beaded on um outwear embroidered on ripped denim studded onto bags and leather garments and printed onto silk sometimes for looks plus sneakers it was as plin said the theme of the show uh theme of the season the most explicit plin flication came on basketball vests which whose teardrop seeding decorations were planted to create a pattern of his house skull you know what's very interesting is reviews unless it's somebody that they don't like they do a good job of just reviewing the show without ever giving you any idea on what they actually think so i have no idea what luke actually thinks of this show all i know is him describing his interaction and conversation with philip lynn but i don't have any idea on what he actually thinks of the show was it bad was it good is it something that he would wear is it something that he thinks customers will be into nothing it's just like a very vague and surface level review that does nothing to really explain anything um anyway first paragraph Elsewhere, there was an emphasis on the sartorial menswear and classically impactful women's evening wear, often presented above a metal-toed, inset heel-shaped shoe design. People are dancing and partying again, he said. So this is a response for those we are hearing. They want to party in. You know, right now, I'm thinking like a retailer. Pre-collections are typically 65% of the business or more. What the fuck? Is that true? People buy 65% of pre-collections. No, sorry. Pre-collections account for 65% of the overall business. That is insane. When you think, to me personally, I think of any brand out there, usually their pre-collection is the worst, in my opinion. The main collection is usually the way it's at. The pre is usually like a distillation or, you know, it feels like cutting room floor type, you know, cutting room floor type level stuff left over that you want to just put out as a show, whatever it may be. Or stuff that you're thinking on that you're not really too sure you want to put in the main show. But 65% of the overall business is wild. Um, we want to overperform again next year. It's exciting. We cut the core as we went into a tunnel. I just fixed the head. So this man's in his G-Wagon. Probably a Paisley covered one also. With gold rims. And he gives him a lowdown on his collection. And Luke Leach finds no way of kind of actually critically, critically critiquing the show. That's why fashion reviews are dead, isn't it? You don't hear anything from him this way. But dare it be a black designer or somebody from streetwear coming in and doing fashion, you start seeing these fucking cunts get on their fucking high horse and start pontificating about fashion with a capital F. It's not tailoring. It doesn't belong on a runway. This is not fashion. La, 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 la. But if Philip Plink can get away with all this garbage, garbage clothes, season in, season out, legitimately, legitimately polluting the earth, there are thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of turtles at, in the sea right now choking on these stupid, ripped denim, paisley, nonsense type things that he's put out there. We want to hear a squeak, a peak from these fucking fashion types. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely horrendous. Look at this absolute garbage absolute garbage inundated with garbage all of it set it on fire set it all on fire but yeah big up philip pin i guess in some regards but hey you gotta get it how you get it i guess you gotta get it how you bloody get it <laughs>